This is Ms. Poltecki, the sixth grade counselor. Wayne Anthony, seventh grade counselor. And Ms. Meadows, eighth grade counselor. And this is Getting to Know Your Counselor. Counseling objective. Students will meet with counselors to become aware of the role and functions of the school counselor within the school community. Housekeeping. The agenda book, how do I use it? So agenda books are to be used by everyone in the building. All students in the, in the building should have an agenda book. And agenda books are used for a couple of different things. Uh, one of the things agenda books are used for is for hall passes. So when you're in the hallway, you should always have some pass, whether it's your agenda book or a green pass. It should be signed, dated, and timed so we know where you're going and where you're coming from. No student should be in the hall without an agenda book or a green pass. Agenda books are also used to maintain your schoolwork. So your homework, your assignments, your projects should all be written in your agenda book every single day. And I tell students all the time, even though I'm an adult, I have an agenda book because I need to keep track of what I need to do every day. So your agenda book should be used daily. Now, where do you go when you're absent? So this has changed a little bit from last year. Now, anytime you're absent, you need to get a yellow slip. And we are in the cafeteria giving absent notes until 930. So yellow slips and tardy slips are given until 930 in the cafeteria. After 930, students are to report to the front office. You no longer come to the counseling office. If you're absent, you are to go to the front office after 930. So remember, before 930, cafeteria. After 930, front office. I lost something. Where do I go? Well, typically the lost and found is on the stage, behind the stage rather, in a bin. Over the years, the places have changed a little bit. So what you may want to do is check first in, in the cafeteria behind the stage. But if it's something that you lost as major, like keys or a cell phone or something that's very important, check in the front office. A lot of times the front office, people will go to the front office to give things that are, are value. So those are the two places you can check. In the cafeteria, on the stage, behind, behind the curtain, or in the front office. Schedule changes. We have a lot of students who are requesting schedule changes and have been asking about schedule changes. Every single student will be contacted regarding your schedule change. Please do not come to the counseling office and ask if your schedule has been changed. If your schedule has been changed or if it has been denied, you will still be contacted either way. The last day to submit schedule change forms is today, Friday the 29th. Today is the last day. And you must have a parent signature. Okay, the next piece um, of information even though it says eighth grade students only, sixth and seventh grade students really need to pay attention to this as well. Because even though you won't be testing this year, your grades will matter if you're trying to get into the science and technology program. And the science and technology program is a program that is at three high schools in Prince George's County, Roosevelt, Oxon Hill, and Flowers. Because we live on the northern end of the county, Roosevelt would be your science and technology school. But the school, the program is in three different schools. So this year, all eighth grade students, all eighth graders will take what's called the PSAT 8-9. PSAT, PSAT 8-9. It will be taken by all eighth grade students in December. All students will take it. And it will prepare you, I'm sorry, it will allow you to be invited to two programs in the county. Not just the science and technology program, but also the aerospace program at Duval High School. So your test scores and your grades are what are considered when they invite you to participate in those programs. And fundraiser. So as you all know, you all did the fundraiser assembly about a week or so ago. The fundraiser deadline date is October 10th. October 10 is the last day to turn in your fundraiser packets. The last little piece, letter of recommendation, and this is through guidance, and it primarily applies to my eighth graders, but any student needs a letter of recommendation for a program, high school, whatever, all comes through the guidance office. Everything comes through guidance. So if you have that as a recommendation, you are to turn them into the guidance, into your, into your school counselor, into the guidance office, to your grade level school counselor. 
And then in turn, your counselor would give the recommendation forms to your classroom teachers. So the process is you bring letters of recommendation to your counselor, your grade level counselor, and the counselor will give them to your teachers. And remember, teachers need a 48 hour turnaround time for recommendations. They cannot be expedited. They need at least 48 hours. School counselors work too. Help with personal and academic growth of all students. Develop educational and career decision making skills among all students. Promote the development of interpersonal skills among all students. And provide services to the school community, which will assist in the growth and learning of, of all students. There are many reasons a student will see a school counselor. This PowerPoint slide just captures a few of them. So let's get started. Some reasons to see the school counselor, including but not limited to. You're having friendship e issues. Either you're arguing with a friend or you need to learn new ways to make new friends. You've lost a loved one. Maybe a family member's died, a pet has died, or a friend of the family's died. Your family's changed. Your parents may have gotten a divorce, your parents may have remarried, or your mother's had a new baby. Being teased or bullied, or if you know someone being teased or bullied. This is a bully-free school. We take bullying very seriously. That is a reason to see your counselor. Ways to deal with stress or manage your anger. We can help you address each of those needs. Making good decisions. Doing well academically with your attendance or your behavior. Again, the school counselor can address all of these issues. As I stated earlier, there are many reasons to see us. Just because you don't see your reason on the slide does not mean it's not a reason to see the school counselor. We are here to help you Monday through Friday from 9 o'clock to 3.50 p.m. So please see your school counselor. How can you see the school counselor? You can request to see the school counselor with an agenda pass. Your teacher can send you. The principal or assistant principal can refer you. Your parents can request that you see me or I can invite you to see me. What else does the school counselor do? So school counselors talk with students individually and in groups, meaning that we can talk to you one on one or if we have to do a mediation and maybe two or more people or in a group setting. Works with teachers and other school specialists to address student concerns. So there are times that we really can't do all that we need to do here at the school, so we may need to talk to other people to kind of help you get through whatever, whatever it is that you need to get through. Meet with parents. There are times that your parents have concerns, or I have concerns, and I may meet with them and may meet with you, or just call them on the phone to share some of my concerns. We visit classrooms. So as you know, today we're doing our presentation through video. But there will be times throughout the year that we will actually come into your classroom and do classroom guidance lessons with you. Helps parents and students make use of community agencies. So again, like I shared, there are times when we at the school don't have the resources that we necessarily need here to help you. It could be outside tutoring, it could be outside counseling, so any of those. So we help you and your parents make use of those other resources that are available to you that we don't necessarily have here at Hydesville Middle. Another person that is very, very instrumental in helping the school's counselors is the school psychologist. The school psychologist is Ms. Burtonett. That's Ms. Burtonett. And she's here on Wednesdays and Thursdays in the health suite. Right now, she would like to share with you a little bit about what she does as a school psychologist. Hello, Hydesville Middle School. My name is Ms. Vertinen and I'm the school psychologist and I am trained in mental health, learning and behavior and I use those skills to make sure that school is a safe place for students and that they feel capable of learning and being part of the school community. Some of the things I do include individual and group counseling, I conduct assessments and I meet with parents and teachers again to make sure school is a good place to be. Um, I'm here at Heightsville Middle School on Wednesdays and Thursdays. My office is in the health room and my door is always open for students. 
for any reason. So I encourage you to stop by. I'd love to meet you. Um, and if there's any way I can be of assistance to you, I would love to do that. Um, so please come by Ms. Vertinen, Health Room, School Psychologist.